you can do basic calculations within your tables, like adding up a range of cells for my, let's do quarters one, two, and three. Let's do it for quarter one first. Go ahead and click in the cell for the totals. Come up here, click on the layout tab. Go to the data group, and there you go, FX for function. Formula, go ahead and click on it. Opens up the formula window, and the default is that it wants to sum up or add up everything above the cell that I'm currently in. So what's above it? Okay, we've got the header row or the headings for every column, the labels. It won't add up those, so it's just going to be these two. And if you don't want to add up, but you want to do another function, click on the drop down arrow. Maybe you want to get the average, the count. Well, if you want to learn more about functions, you can watch my Excel training videos on functions. In any case, we'll keep it simple and we'll just stick with the sum or add up. And for the number format, let's go ahead and see what's available. We can do percentage, something simple, or ooh, dollar signs. Well, that will go well with the dollar signs that I already have there. Let's go ahead and click OK Doki in. Oh, cool. Checks out. Now I could go ahead and go to the next cell and repeat the same steps, or you can come up here on the quick access toolbar and click on repeat or hit the F4 key on the keyboard, which is the same as we learned in an earlier training video to repeat the formatting, which also works when it comes to inserting a function or formula. Since we already inserted one, it'll automatically do it again. Well, except it's not available. And do you know why, neighbor? Well, because as you recall in an earlier training video, I have the autosave feature going off every minute. And the moment that it does an autosave, it clears this out so I can't do a repeat. So let's go ahead and do it again. And then as quickly as possible, let's go ahead and click in that cell after and hit the F4 key so I can show you. Ready, set, go. Okay, well, it doesn't work until after I actually apply this. Click in here and do dollars. Click okie dokie. Come over here, hit the F4 key on the keyboard. and whew, We made it. And you can see the repeats right there. And then watch in just a couple of, oh, see it disappeared. And if you rewind the training video down below at the bottom, it did a flash, a quick save. Because, well, mine's saving every minute. Very annoying for this training video, but it comes across as a good point because the autosave feature prevents you from using that repeat there or hitting the F4 key. So we may want to go backstage and click on the File tab, go down to Options, go to Save, and say, OK, I can lose some data and not have it automatically being saved every minute, maybe 10 minutes. I'd rather be more productive and use that repeat feature. If I have to use it a lot, then have it clear out every minute. So let's go ahead and do that. It's up to you. But again, it's in an earlier training video. It's called Versions. Let's go ahead and click Okie Dokie. You can watch that to learn more about that. And let me do one more thing. Let me go ahead and clear this out. Hit the Delete key. And now since it's not being saved every minute, let's go ahead and do Formula. Same thing. Because I want to show you something that after I do it, and I come over here and I hit the F4 key to do a repeat, why does it give me bagel zeros? Because, well, if you click inside of it, you can see it automatically highlights it because it's a function in our table. So it's something that's dynamic, and it's based upon the other cells. So let's come back up here and click on Function Formula. And where does it want to sum? Above? Or do you want it to the left? Well, you'd have to come in here and delete it, right? And then type in left, and then go ahead and click Okie Dokie, and there you go. Now, it will automatically do that for us if I go ahead and let me delete it. If I do it without hitting the F4 key on the keyboard, because when I click on formula, it automatically looks to the left and says, hey, we got something over here, and it's numbers, and it's more than what we have up above, which is text, so yeah, I'm going left. So let's just go ahead and choose the dollar signs. Click okie dokie, and there we go. And then, of course, click down below, hit the F4 key, fabulous. Now, if I make any changes in here, like let's go ahead and delete that or just type in one, you can see it doesn't automatically update our totals. So you got to keep that in mind. So what you can do is you can come down into the totals and do one of two things. You can either, after you click inside of it, and you can see the cursor's flashing within the formula, then you can hit the F9 key on the keyboard, which will automatically do an update, or when in doubt, right click on it because more often than not, when you right click, you'll get your answer, update the field, and there we go. One last thing I want to show you. Let's come over here and let's delete all of that except for two, two dollars. And so what if I want to go ahead and just add up the dollar and the two to get three bucks? I know it's something simple, but I want to make it simple so I can show you in the next example something that's not, as far as the explanation goes, complex. So two plus one is three. So if I just want to add up these two, how do you do it? 
Well, let's go ahead and with it selected here, click on the formula and delete what's inside the parentheses. Do not delete the parentheses or anything else, even the equals, because if you delete that, you mess with the function, you'll get raspberries. It won't work for us. Now, if you watch my Excel training videos, what you see here is a table, but in Excel, it's a spreadsheet or a bunch of cells, and the cells have names. Starting in the upper left-hand corner, it's cell A1. How did it get A1? Because it's labeling the columns by letters and the rows by numbers. So the first column is A, then it goes B, C, D, E, and then the rows is 1, 2, 3, 4. And so if I want to go ahead in the table and add $1 to $2 or that cell to that cell, then just think of Excel and let's count over. So A, B, so it's in column B, and what row? 1, 2. So the cell's name here is B2. So if the cursor flashing, oh, I can't see it, but I think it's in between the two parentheses, and type in B2, then comma to go ahead and say, okay, so far it's B2, comma, let's include something else after the comma, or after the delimiter that we use, the comma, the separator, and that's, let's see what column, A, B, C, D. So we'll type in D, and what row? Same row, two. And let's go ahead, click okie dokie, and hey, isn't that fancy? Now keep in mind, this is great for doing something simplistic, but I recommend if it gets more complicated than this, or you've got a lot to do, do it in Excel. And of course, you can go ahead and copy and paste your spreadsheet or parts of it into Word, and have it automatically link back to Excel. And that'll do an automatic update, any changes you make in Excel into your table. Well, when you paste Excel into the Word document, it will come across into a table format. And we'll talk about that in a later training video, but for right now, we want to keep it simple. If you're just doing basic calculations, well, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.